Welcome to my next Big Bang Theory Season 11 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important if you weren't caught up to the point where I am and rewatch you're watching the Big Bang Theory, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention as well as put in the description. If that happens to be the case, you found that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be the Big Bang Theory Season 10, or Season 11, Episode 10. The title of this episode is called The Confidence Erosion, and this will be my review, reaction, recap, after just finishing watch the episode at Girls' Night, taking place at Amy and Sheldon's apartment. Amy and Penny agree that it is nice to be at home doing nothing. While Skyping, Bernadette claims that it's not any different than the other 30 days of bed rest. Ross shows up at the door to ask some fashion advice, um... From Penny, he has a job interview at the Griffith Planetarium since they are looking for an, an astrophysicist. Amy asks Bernadette if she thought Raj would be good at that, but she then denies that she is uh, watching The Crown. Amy says that she, he needs to pick something that he feels confident in, and Raj retorts that he left his magic clothes at home. They don't like either of his outfits, and Raj doubts that he even is going to get the job. He was very confident when he got here from India. Howard comes onto the computer screen and makes some uh, cracks about Raj being at girls' night. At the cafeteria, the guys are discussing the Amy and Sheldon wedding plans. They are using mathematical decision theory to assign random tasks to each other. Raj shows up in a dark suit all ready for his interview. A very nice suit, my, I add. Howard tells him that if it doesn't work out, he can always be a Mormon missionary. Leonard is just sure, or is sure that he will get the job. Raj wishes that Howard would be a little bit more supportive. Howard then cracks uh, that if he was... Raj could bury him at the funeral home he directs. Later in the office, Raj calls his father. His interview wasn't great. When they asked his uh, greatest weakness, he talked on, the po on that point for 45 minutes. His father blames Raj's problem on his friends and Howard, who is always making fun of him. Raj says that is just like that and it comes from a very sarcastic uh, village called Brooklyn. His father was a bad was in a bad relationship when he was always, where he always felt uh, bad about himself and Raj, and that was Raj's mother of course. He suggests to Raj that to feel good he should replace Howard with a pretty 22 year old grad student which will increase his confidence. Amy and Sheldon are choosing wedding tasks on an online slot machine. Amy gets invitations. Yes. Selgin, Sheldon suggests holographic invitations projected out of R2-D2. Amy wants English calligraphy on Egyptian paparamas. And uh, Sheldon gets ring bearer and wants R2-D2. They both agree that planning their wedding is fun when others say that it is a chore. Raj is uh, talking about his interview with Leonard and Penny. He got so nervous that he just kept apologizing. Penny suggests a therapist, but Leonard shoots down Raj's suggestion of his mother, Beverly. Um, you don't want to have a therapy session with Beverly Hofstetter. Raj mentions his father, his father's comments about Howard and Leonard, then agrees. Penny disagrees and says that uh, that that is just what friends do. Leonard tells Penny that she is mean to him sometimes. And Raj adds that they are both being disrespected, but Leonard is still willing to take it. The Amy and Shed Sheldon wedding planners are, have Amy arriving in a little house in the prairie covered wagon met by an honor guard of Star Wars, Star Wars stormtroopers. Uh, Amy wonders about the space Nazis, so Sheldon suggests he she arrive in Luke Skywalker's land speeder. Sheldon then wants to exchange ushers for the first dance, which he eliminates. Amy then changes the confetti, the confetti to releasing butterfly airborne worms. No. Then they start to make suggestions that they know the other won't like. Toasts in Latin, vows in Klingon, the flower girl becomes a dog. 
Howard enters Raj's office so they can go to lunch. Raj declines and Howard makes a chubby joke. Raj exclaims that that is a problem, that Howard is always making jokes at his expense. Howard insists that it is just his way and that he means that they are friends. Raj is tired of 15 years of this ridicule. He thinks that they need to take a break from each other. And Howard asks if he can see other needy Indian men, and Raj yells at him to get out. At the cafeteria, Sheldon keeps coming up with wedding plans that Amy will hate. He wants everyone to get rings for them to get the ring that rules all, a la the Lord of the Rings. Raj comes by and then sits by himself. Howard says that he is sorry, but Raj won't accept his apology. Uh, after years of emotional abuse, Leonard goes over to talk to him so he doesn't have to hear any more of Sheldon's insane wedding chatter. Sheldon comes home to tell Amy that he has decided on uh, asbestos centerpiece. Amy claims that they were going to end up with a wedding that neither of them will enjoy, so she proposes that they just go down to City Hall and get married. Uh, Sheldon agrees and surprises her by suggesting the next day. Then the next time they get intimate, it will be a official requirement of being married. Or Sheldon suggests the Beverly Hills City Hall if she wants to make a destination wedding. Leonard comes out and was surprised when Penny compliments him. After being mean to him, Penny is trying to be nice to him. Raj joins them and has left his hair or has let his hair go natural instead of straightening it to blend in America. He was in the mood to celebrate since when he went back to the planetarium, was confident and charming and got the job since the first applicant didn't work out. Leonard and Penny congratulated him. Raj doesn't want to see Howard because he didn't want to be around his negative energy. Howard stops by the comic book store. The gang isn't with him and the store is empty. He mentioned his falling out with Raj and how he thinks his making fun of him was ruining his confidence. Stewart says that he never blames others for his problems. Howard wants to hang out there and Stewart wants uh, him to make fun of him. Stewart is an interesting cat. Sheldon and Amy get their marriage license and go sit down to wait for the official. Sheldon wonders why the clerk doesn't want a blood test to see if they have syphilis or they had syphilis. Sheldon can't believe how the year is ending strong since uh, they are were getting married and a new Star Wars movie is coming out. Amy doesn't want to ask which his favorite was. They are called in, and Amy says that she can't believe that they will go in there, Dr. Cooper and Dr. Fowler, and will come out a married couple, Dr. Cooper and Dr. Fowler. And then Sheldon actually changes his mind that he wants to have uh, a first dance with his new wife. Amy reminds him that the that wedding planning makes the two of them fight, so Sheldon is so astonished that he found Amy, much like Dark Matter, it was such a discovery that he wants to tell the whole world whether it is in Latin, Klingon, or smoke signals. Sheldon wants to do it right. Amy agrees, so they decide to plan a real wedding again. Though while they are all dressed up at City Hall, Sheldon does want to get a hazardous waste disposable permit. They go off hand in hand. Raj is finishing his show at the planetarium with the gang in the audience. Penny admits that she has never been so, uh, never seen science so interesting, even though Leonard talks about science all the time. Amy talks Sheldon out of giving Raj constructive criticism. Raj is sweating too much for Penny to give him a hug, so he gets a high five. Leonard sees Howard hiding in the back with a hat on. He was hiding out since he didn't know if he was welcomed. Leonard talks to him saying hello until he sees that Raj has a woman coming up and or that a woman comes up and asks him to have coffee with her. Raj says that it is too late for coffee and then Penny walks uh, in between them telling him to change it to decaf and off they go together ending this episode of the Big Bang Theory. So uh, it was okay. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Character of the episode, hands down, is going to be Raj. It breaks the streak of Sheldon. And then, as many of you know, I rate Penny because Penny 
is the reason why I started watching The Big Bang Theory. I'll give Penny a 7.8 out of 10 in this episode. So you've heard everything that I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of The Big Bang Theory and you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, please don't forget to Hulk smash the like button, share the video with a friend, put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of Big Bang Theory. What would you rate the episode and who would be your character of the episode? If you want to do what I do and rate Penny like I do, go ahead and do that in the comment section. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And you never know what you're going to see on JDevTV.